Hey guys, I am Mike Lees and welcome to Layers of Fear. So this is an indie horror game that was out in early release a long time back. Uh, and it looked amazing back then. I saw a few clips of that and I really wanted to play it. And I also really wanted to wait for the official release, which was uh, several days ago, I think February 15th. Um, and it still looks incredible. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I saw in the comments, I didn't see much about the plot, but I did see that it could have multiple endings. So I don't know if that's based on decisions I'm going to make or if that's based on things I miss or things I pick up. Uh, so definitely let me know in the comments as we're as I'm playing, as we're playing, uh, whether I'm missing something, whether you want to see something that I should be doing differently or whether you want me to play a different style or see different things. And I'd be happy to go back through and play it that way or, you know, we can talk back and forth as it's going and make decisions on how, how it looks. Uh, so I, I would love that feedback. And I think without further ado, let's get going. Could scare the pants off of me. Who knows? We can only hope, right? We can only hope. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I... precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure I am talking to myself there. Uh, every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. The picture of Dorian Gray. Great book, by the way. And we're off. Okay, what do we got? We've got... Well, we've got this. So, what are we looking at? We've got... Something. It kind of looks like a... Old-fashioned dog muzzle. That's all I can come up with. I don't know. It's probably not important, although it is odd that that's like the first thing you pick up in the game. Is some sort of demented looking muzzle looking cage thing. My, it is fairly dark in here. Awesome. An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. I'm guessing that's me. So I am a painter of some sort. Uh, and I, I, I'm sure this is my house. But I'm not sure why I'm walking around it in such like a third person type way. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others others compare him to Van Eyck. And one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. Ah, okay, so we got some insights. I guess I have a, uh, we are a couple. Uh, I am engaged, we are engaged, and she is expecting. Okay. Great. Expecting. I am expecting some creepy child crap then. Okay, and we got a picture of what I can only assume is me scratching myself out. And some, I don't know why I would do that though. But who else would I put a picture up of? Or would my fiance put a picture up of who knows one of us what else i got nothing else do, 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 do. dear sir we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters i'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations all of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than not to act further than a prof prophylactic spraying. Sorry. 
Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pets Pacification Company. Pesky Pets Pacification. I bet that's not best regards, buddy. So I am seeing rodents. That's uh, That may or may not exist. Most likely don't exist. Why would I be seeing rodents, though? Okay, what am I looking at? Dog collar? Oh, okay. So maybe that was... A, I, I'm betting that was a muzzle in the first room, and that's the dog collar to go along with it. Uh, we'll see if I run into the dog. I'm just, I'm just anticipating anything I run into to be traumatic. So every story I hear about this guy's life, I'm just waiting for it to be somehow launched at my face. Who, who knows if that's how it's actually going to turn out, but... Uh, don't know how uh, high hopes I should have for a calm gameplay. I can only expect that pretty soon I am going to be freaking out. Locked. Okay. Why are you locking on me? Oh, there's a thing here. It's a door. It's, okay, that kind of sucks. Open a door that I can't really see what I'm opening. Which tells me that I should probably not go in, but I'm going in. Oh. So I'm setting traps for rodents that I don't know exist. Okay, I'm going to step out of the complete darkness because I'm sure you were about as annoyed by that as I just was. Couldn't see a damn thing. I'd rather not step into the darkness. Let's step into the well-lit kitchen. Looks like a dumbwaiter. I always wanted a dumbwaiter as a kid. I don't. I don't know why. I, you. I guess as a kid, you just want to throw things down a chute. I think that's what I want to do. I guess now I have like a trash chute in my apartment. That's kind of the same thing, but I feel like the dumbwaiter would be fun because you'd have people waiting on the other side to, I don't know, catch things or receive things. Who knows? Who knows? Everything's just fun in games as a kid. Play with everything, which is awesome. Okay. Get uh, is there a light switch in? Ah, ha. Okay. Oh, just a pantry. Well, okay. It's just a pantry. Oregano, paprika, oregano, paprika, <laughs> and sugar. Sugar, paprika, and oregano is all you need apparently for all your cooking in this giant freaking fancy kitchen. I guess I pushed down on the scale. Hoo no okay <laughs> if it was if it was gonna be locked and trying to scare me already I was gonna be just a little panicked oh I missed something sorry that's oh okay light switches okay if they keep with the light switches thing I'm going to be super happy because the candle lit is just not gonna work for me one below knee prosthesis how the hell did they fuck up the length Oh, wouldn't that be the worst? Your leg gets screwed up for some reason. You have to get a prosthetic and they mess up the length. So you're limping around. God. Actually, I had a buddy go to the chiropractor because he messed up his neck the other day. And I guess one of the things they do in their checkup is measure your leg lengths. And so they measured his legs and one was slightly shorter than the other. I guess it's actually fairly a common thing. But, you know, we don't notice because it's so subtle. It is so dark over here. Oh, whoa. That is a that is a basement. You know, I'm sticking out of the basement till I know how much this game is going to try to screw with me. We got a paint on the door. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Okay. Ah, so it is locked. I'm, I'm going to have to find my office, get my keys. I bet my office is not in the basement. Sorry, I'm sure we'll end up in the basement eventually, but as far as places I want to go goes, uh, basement's not high on my list. What the f fruity fruit cakes? Was it that door? You know what? 
We're just gonna look around here first. <laughs> we don't need to. Guess I'm gonna have to listen to the random noises. Ooh, play some piano. Oh, that's it. Okay. Demented freaking piano. Why are they burned? Okay, maybe that's what I should be noticing about this. I was wondering why they let me pick that up. I guess because the paper is burned. That seems to be the only thing sticking out about it. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Okay. I hope nobody woke me up. Because that's blood. That's blood, so, so we're going in here. That's blood, so we're going in here. Happy times. Happy times. Happy times. Clearly, it's... The new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. That is awfully long to read. La, looks like in summation, there was a great night at the opera. Yes, all of the fancy rich people had an all of the fancy rich people good time. That's what I'm taking from that. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Ooh, interesting. Read this one. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the galactic department store turn into hell on earth when buildings wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building. Having no chance to escape the raging inferno, the exact number of casualties has not yet been determined. Hmm. Although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been serious, severely injured, the owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Okay. So, I'm sure that maybe that's why the stuff on the piano was burned? Although, the Galactic, who knows if that relates to music. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Just trying to piece things together. <laughs> Maybe reaching too far. I don't know. Cane. Okay. Well, they really want me to notice the cane. I, I notice it. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Oh. So, that prosthetic was for me? And my leg is messed up. Maybe my leg's messed up from the fire? How badly would your leg need to be? That's that'd be pretty bad if, if it required you to, to. I don't know why I started on the right. I was right in front of this one. Didn't it? Jeez. Okay. That that is a heck of a lot of booze. Is that what that is? Is that just a bunch of bottles of wine or something? It seems a little ridiculous if that's true. I mean, it's either that or it's like, I don't know what else it would be. <laughs> so, so I am a painter with a room that's bloody. My leg was burned and my prosthetic has me limping around. I am, I'm sure that I'm not a grumpy guy at all. No, that would be, wait. That was, no, that was not my office. That was my bedroom. Got to keep an eye out for my office to get a key to that door downstairs. Another locked door. Okay. Limiting my options. Why don't you? Shooby doop 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 doop. Didn't I already? Ooh, what is this? Did I get a light switch? It's freaking. Okay. Another light. Door. What am I looking at? Oh, just a cabin. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like more bottles of something. I'm going to guess alcohol because I am clearly a troubled, troubled man with many things to run away from. Ba, 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 ba. The picture of Dorian Gray. Okay. Well, that was the quote from the beginning. I still say it is a good book, so it's definitely worth a read. 
for those of you out there that want to read something. If you don't, that's cool too, because I only read it because it was required high school reading back in the day. I don't read nearly as much as I should, but still saying, good book, good book. Okay. If anything looks like it, that is creepy as hell. What is that? Okay, not a scary... No hamster baby man. Why the hell is there a hamster baby man in my office? Hamster baby man? What is this? Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, the twisted version of death and doom. Why is Little Red Riding Hood now at the bed when she just got... Oh, that's it, killing the grandma. Okay, now she arrives, and she dies too. Is that my work? The forefront of my office is a demented... Hey, key. Aw, oh, yeah. Making progress. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we were doing something... Oh, is that the night of the opening? Is this is that the last time this house was messed with? Was no, because I have articles post that. So scratch that. I don't know. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question: Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old times' sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. Ah, of course, that's what... What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone. Whispered Tale Publishing House. So, what I was seeing was a illustrations for a children's story. Awesome. I have, I'm so off my rocker that I'm trying to ruin children's lives and have them just have all the nightmares of wolves destroying children. Because that, that's what we need. That's what I should be encouraging. Okay, back to the... Hall of the piano that acts on its own. Oh, I do have that office key now. And did you see that? Did I? Did I see some? Oh, that's just a shadow. Okay, I, th I thought I saw something running on the ground. What is the? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No no no! No. There's there's nothing worse in these kinds of games than a kid's room. Okay. All right, actually it seems okay. It seems okay. There's nothing freaky going on. See, I'm glad that the music box thing was not in here because that that would just be too much. Since it's not, I can deal Roll with this. Let's... Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not much light you're providing. But it's fine. What do we have? A, a toy doll that's been a little more than gently used, but nothing bad happened to it. So it's not creepy. So I can handle it. The rocking horse is not rocking. So, yes. Okay, this was a pleasant surprise in that it is just not a creepy room. That is a weird rattle. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> it's a weird rattle. Okay, and we have nothing else. And moving right along. Okay, we can go back downstairs and open the office. No, office? No, 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 I got the key from the office. We're opening mystery room. Mystery room number one. What is behind door number one? Was that the door with the... No, the door with the blood. Oh, I didn't try the door with the blood. All right, one thing at a time. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's focus. All right, paint door. Let's do the paint door. What am I doing? I don't know. Flying. Oh, okay. This looks like the room from the beginning. 
Obviously, this is my, my painting room. Just this little tiny case with... Okay, that was me stepping on that. They need to stop putting glass everywhere on the floor. It's, it's causing me to stop and think way too much about things that I don't want to be focusing on. Like crazy, scary noises that aren't even that crazy and scary, but they've got me paranoid already. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done. Before you go to sleep. Well, there was that note on my door that said, don't wake me up. So I'm guessing I didn't listen to the note. And I'm guessing that we are still talking through, were, are still talking through notes. What the hell? Is that more alcohol? Or are these like bottles of paint? Is that what's been everywhere? I mean, it is my, ah, okay. get it right this time. How did I even get up there to write that? So I like actually put effort into climbing up so I could write a message to myself above the door, get it right this time, I'm putting pressure on myself to do something. All the locked things. What's with all the locked things? Okay. Maybe I'll be unlocking those one at a time or something. That is a lot of broken paintbrushes. I gotta say, if you're painting and this happens, you're doing it about as wrong as this guy. He did have a, wow. How did I not notice this sooner? Okay. So I guess I broke the paintbrushes by painting all over the walls and the chair. Just going nuts in the corner. <laughs> Look out, guys. I'm. G but then I have this neat little, tiny, little cute case thing for my two paintbrushes and my tiny little things but oh wait then I'm just gonna go crazy and <laughs> everywhere yeah that makes a whole lot of sense anyways lost it you deserve wait no lost you deserve it finish it well the finish it is clearly a theme and I'm guessing that'll fill in some, I don't know if I did something to fill that in already or if it just fills in as we go. We'll find out. What's on this? Uh, hey. What's, oh, oh, oh. It's pressing the E instead of the W. That's, that's, that gets you in trouble. That was a creepy noise for nothing. Hello, painting that is just unwritten, okay. So I got the paint everywhere else in the room, but I couldn't get it on the canvas. So don't mind me, folks. Don't mind me. <laughs> just throwing paint everywhere, but whoops, I can't get it right this time. So I'm just going to paint the walls first as a test. Clearly that didn't go well. Clearly. Whew, man. Okay. I can't decide if I want to end the episode here. I don't even know how long it's been. It's kind of only been intro stuff, really. But I'll do a quick outro here anyway. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the start to this game. It's super intriguing. Nothing has actually jumped out or happened yet. I guess it's just laying a foundation for what's going to happen. Uh, but if you want to see more, and I'm definitely going to play more, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, if you like what you see, by all means, please hit the like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. I thought he was just like humping me. I thought he was like the pig face hump fairy. But it, there were so no close coming out. So close, I could taste it. And I could taste blood. But mostly, I could taste it.